so we got one of these meal boxes at the store today for dinner. It's called a beef noodle bowls. And it is like a meal in a box. You have to cook it. It has all the ingredients in there and the recipe, like idiot proof, hope, hopefully idiot proof recipe. So, but he's had two rum and cokes. So yes. we're not letting him touch the sharp pointy things. You got some cock sauce. I mean, um, rooster sauce. Okay, watch your words. We gotta like... It's got a rooster on it. We're a child-friendly channel. That's What's a, what's a, oh, yeah, what's yeah, a male I, chicken? I'm going to get demonetized. What's this? I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe pink. soy sauce. Potion soy sauce. Soy sauce? Potion sauce. This must be Poison the... Poison um, sauce. Sriracha sauce. I bet that's a sriracha. No, no. That's a sriracha. This sriracha. This is probably the oil. The uh, sesame oil. Oh, maybe. Okay. What's it? Oh, maybe. Okay. Right here. Okay. I'm slicing I'm, mushrooms. I'm getting out of the way of the camera because I don't want to be seen. Oh, since when you don't want to be seen? <sighs> okay. Heat half of sesame oil in a large high-sided pan over medium heat. Okay, we'll use this one here. Medium heat. That's about a five. When oil is shimmering, add garlic and ginger and saute, stirring until fragrant for about a minute. We want some, uh, we want fragrance. Yeah, but I gotta smush the garlic up. Does it need to be crushed or diced? What does it say? Well, it's, that's part of, is under preparing the ingredients. I know, but I don't remember mince what you said. Garlic. I'm still Friend, stuck in the mushrooms. Mince garlic. Mince. You mince it. Oh, okay. Can you mince? Yeah, well, you gotta. Don't mince any words with me. Give me a minute. Let me try this thing. Hopefully it's oil. Hopefully. God forbid it's not. It's not well, it's the only one that's not labeled, so... Oh yeah, it ginger. is. Look at that. I got oil. Okay, good. Did you, you turn it on already, too. Oh well, yeah, it's, it's on five. I know, but I'm not done with the mushrooms well, no, it's yet. It's gotta heat up. But that's not gonna take that long as you think. Oh, well, okay. This is only half of the oil. About half. Rest right there. Hey, the rest of your sesame oil. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, we want the garlic and the ginger to saute for about a minute. They need to both be minced? Yes. Minced garlic, trim into starch, skin of ginger and mint. Yep. Capiche? Yep. Okay. What's that? The garlic? I mean the ginger. The ginger? Good job, dear. I barely got started. What do you mean, good well, job? You, you're, you're mincing. You did a good job mincing. What? I'm giving you a compliment and you're like looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you are crazy. You're married to me. Of course you're crazy. I should just make this the whole vlog. It's kind of funny. What? The whole, like, routine. Careful, here. you don't want to, like, cut yourself. I'm not gonna cut myself. I'm not the one who's been drinking. Well, except for I'm gonna keep hitting the. My kitchen's not big enough. Your kitchen? What do you mean your kitchen's not big enough? I kept whacking my knife on the pot. Smell the 
you got to rinse the kale, stack the leaves, and slice or tear them into bite-sized pieces. Yeah, yeah. You can do that while that's mincing, while that's heating up in the pan. Maybe. Or just put it in there. Okay. Look at that. We got minced. I'm gonna let you put it in and give it and stir or whatever shit you need to do. Well, I, I'm not gonna do that until you're ready for that. With the kale. Okay. Why do I see kale? God. Dinosaur. It's got dinosaur kale. It's dinosaur kale. That's what it's called. I don't know why it's called that. It's like Tyrannosaurus Rex or Stegosaurus Rex? Um, no. Stegosaurus. Brontosaurus. Velociraptor. Dinosaur. No idea. Where's the uh, metal bowl? Is it in the dishwasher? Metal bowl? That silver one? Probably. Yeah, to put the, the case, to put the kale, well, something to put the kale in. What this glass one? That works. We got tons of bowls around here. Yeah, but the kitchen's not big enough. No. Kale. And what about the scallions? Did you do that yet? I didn't do them yet. No. What am I supposed to do with them? You're supposed to rinse and trim and discard the roots. Yeah. Thinly sliced. So you rinse the kale, stack the leaves, and slice or tear into bite-sized pieces. Yep. Okay. I think the scallions are the last thing. Once you got the scallions done, you could uh, drop the garlic and ginger and saute them for about a minute until fragrant. So we add mushrooms to the pan with aromatics. Aromatics, and that's these. Aromatics? What's the, what are those? That's the garlic oh, and ginger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Saute aromatics. Aromatics, not aromas. That's not a word. Whatever. Okay, ready? I'm gonna throw it in. Yeah. I'm tossing. I'm tossing, man. I'm tossing. Let me get the little thing here. You know, I didn't do anything. this for about a minute. Once we throw the mushrooms in, uh, we do that for about two minutes. Mushrooms next? Right. Mushrooms. And the sink's going to be full of dirty dishes. Why not? Because you're cooking. Yep. Well, we are cooking. It's not just me. You're cooking. Mm. What am I doing? Stirring. That's right. That's not cooking. Let's go for a couple minutes.
minutes. Then we throw the rest of the shit in. I mean, stuff in. You mean the kale? Yeah, kale and scallions. Oh, okay. Season with salt and pepper. And let that cook for another three minutes. And transfer it to a plate and set aside. Well, you could just turn the pot off and set it aside. Or do you need the pot for something else? Uh, we're going to brown the beef. Oh, okay. So we need another... This is a messy meal. No, so take all the stuff here, take it out of the pan. Cook it, take it out of the pan, cook the meat, put it back. Cook the meat, yes. And with the rest of the oil. Got it. Got it. Okay. You're supposed to pat dry the meat with a paper towel. I'm not gonna do that. No. I like it I like it bloody and red and <laughs> I like juicy. I hope there's no vegans out there or vegetarians out there. If you're a vegan, please shut this off. Please we, continue and go to the next video. We don't, we don't want to offend anyone. We really don't. Well, I don't. Well, if you're offended, call 1-800-EAT-SHIT. Did you just say that? I'm gonna have to take. Oh yeah, yeah. Holy cow! Don't listen to him. He's had too much alcohol. Okay, throw the tail in. It's been two minutes. That's what happens when I let you be on the vlog. Right? Oh, the scallions too. Well, you brought up the stuff oh, getting offended. Really? You're going to get offended over this? We can maybe put that in the, we can put all this in that white, in the, in the glass bowl. What do you think? Oh, yeah, instead of dirtying it in the bowl. Yeah, we're going to do this for about three minutes. So it's 7 Eleven, so at 7 14, we'll take it out. Oh, I'll put some salt and pepper on here. He says, I'm sorry. My guess is people are going to be amused, so don't let that give you license to have free reign, though. By the way, my name is Fred. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty wilted. Okay. We'll take that. Should we take it out? Okay. of this. Okay. And then we want to add the beef. Add some salt and pepper too. Not good for my blood pressure. Yes, I know, Mr. Perfect Two has perfect blood pressure. It's not perfect, it's only one one ten on the seventy. Right, right. How many you got one fifteen maybe? Add the beef simmer with a quarter with some salt, uh, breaking it up. 
beef is brown. Yeah. I'll break it up here. You know, since it's breaking up, it's hard to do. about that. Oh, it's in the so there's a trick to that. You get this thing out. Well, it's those things that are washed. I know. So wait, move. It's easier though. Yes, I know it's a potato masher. But when you're crumbling ground beef while it's cooking. We have to add the hoshin sauce, the soy sauce, and the sriracha. To the meat? Yeah. Ooh, I like doing that. I'll do that. Oh, that, that gets all the big chunks off. Got that. Okay. Hoshin sauce. Hoshin. All of these. Yep, just put them all in. Said. Add hoshin, soy, and sriracha. Oh, yeah, and the soy sauce, Skip or too. use half or for less heat. For the sriracha? Well, no, it just said skip or half for less heat, but I like heat. So put half, half sriracha. Hoshin. Hoshin. That's good. So we'll do half sriracha. You're going to like hot. I like it. My intestines don't care for it too much. I'll hit it in the morning. Mm. We always we have um, that sauce in the fridge, so same rooster sauce. Do we? Yeah, but there should be some. Then we set this aside. It's still, we got some, we still have some raw meat in here. Cook. Keep cooking it. It's cooking. I'm browning beef. It ain't gonna stick. I'm not worried about it sticking. That doesn't look raw. There was a small piece that was raw. It won't take long to cook. It's all nicely crumbled now. When do we add the veggies back? So, uh, and then. so then uh, we we brown the beef. So we got another. Remove from pan and sit us let us and set aside until step six. So we can be move move it over there. Okay. While beef browns over a clean dry surface, use a hand to gently separate the long strand noodles. Uncover boiling pot of water, season generously with salt, and more salt. Um, add long life noodles and cook, simmering occasionally to prevent sticking until al dente, about two to three minutes. Drain and rinse with cold water for 30 seconds to stop the cooking. Then you plate everything. Yeah, I would just leave that cook. I wouldn't turn it off, let it go. The noodles won't take very long. And as soon as they're ready, Put everything back in that bowl, half white. So you want me to set this aside? You, think this is, you want to keep cooking it? I'll turn it? it down to low. You don't want to lose too much of that juice because that's supposed to flavor everything. Sure. We need some big bowls. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna take a shortcut. We're not gonna rinse this with cold water. No. no. Yeah. We, have, we have these two nice Asian uh, square bowls. We we'll use those. We we'll use those. I think that noodle's pretty good. Uh, is it al dente? Mm, I think so. Okay. Here, what do you think? I like it.
want to just put one in each? Oh, you just going to put it in this one? Okay, right, so just mix it up in here, right? Okay. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Put it all back in? Well, what does it say to do here? It says... I'm cooking it like spaghetti because you know I'm Italian, so... Add the long life noodles to the sauteed vegetables to pan. Just, let's just put it all together. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're just going to put it all together. All together now. Food for two people. We're gonna have leftovers. Holy shit! That kind of looks interesting. Yeah, it's an adventure. What is it called? It's by the company Plated. Not sponsored, by the way. But if you want to sponsor, you can. And this is their beef noodle bowl. These um, dinner kits are available at Safeway, at least in my area. And um, yeah, the gentleman who is from Plated that was at the store today, adver helping advertise, um, described them as like Blue Apron or those other food subscription boxes, only without the subscription. You can just get them when you want. So that's it. We are gonna. It was I think seventeen dollars. It was I think seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, seventeen dollars. So we're gonna enjoy our Saturday night dinner beef noodle bowl, and I hope you enjoyed this crazy ending to the vlog. Um, don't forget to have a great weekend, have a great week, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll both see you next week. Ta -ta. Bye. Bye. Bye.